summer is here. We can feel it, and it is bringing on the heat. It just might light a fire under a little romance for you. So whether it's a first story, 40th date, there are plenty of ways to add some social matchmaker Hope Reiki from It's Just Lunch. San Francisco is here with some tips on how to do just that. Thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to Bay Area Focus, Hope. Yes, thank you so much for having me. So why is summer a good time for singles to rethink how they are dating, especially if they're just trying to get out there a little bit more? Why is this the season? This is the season because so many of us were cooped up in our homes during the colder months, right? And when summer comes, the city really comes alive. So people are ready to get out there. They want to get outdoors. They want to get in that sunshine. And when in doing that, they're going to meet more people. And if you're single, that gives you more opportunity. All right. And it's just warm out. It's just nice to get out. So I can definitely see why those summer dates heat up. So what are some of your favorite summer date ideas for anybody, regardless if you are single or in a relationship? Yes, absolutely. So one of my very favorites is a tiered date. And by tiered, what that means is there's two elements to the date. So it could be two activities. Um, a great example is maybe you meet at the park. You're going to start your date with a walk or a bike ride, and then you're gonna move on to lunch on a patio. So what I love about this is it works for a person that you're already dating, you're in a relationship, like you said, it's your 40th date. You already know you like them, so you just get more quality time. But it also works really great if you are newly dating someone and you're trying to get to know them more and see how you interact in different elements. You know, because your, your dynamics might be different at lunch, than they were when you were on a walk at the park. So it just gets gives you more time to get to know the person. Yeah, I can see that. I know I've been on plenty of dates where by the second thing, I'm like, okay, yeah, mm -mm, not a yes, It also <laughs> gives you that opportunity that if you don't want to go to the second date, then you have an easy out. Gotcha. <laughs> so when we're talking about people who are single and who are mm -hmm. on the prowl this summer, what tips do you have for them? Well, one is just make sure that you're out there. You're putting yourself out there. Um, people get stuck in routines, what they typically do. Summer is a great time to step out of your comfort zone. So go to some events that you wouldn't normally go to. Um, maybe pick up a new hobby that you haven't done in the past because when you do that, you're going to expose yourself to different types of people and um, meeting more people. Hey, dating is a numbers game. So you've got to put yourself out there if you're gonna meet some new people. Well, tell me about It's Just Lunch. What, what's this all about? So It's Just Lunch is a personalized matchmaking service. Um, we've been doing this for 31 years and um, we're true matchmakers. So what we do is a little different. We um, take what each client is looking for and we set them up for a lunch or a drink after work just to get to know each other. Um, it's a low pressure introduction for people to have some FaceTime and, and see in person what their chemistry is truly like. And that must be so nice too for people who partake in that because they know the other person is in it just as much as they are. So I can see that. Absolutely. Being... Everybody's invested. Yeah, that can be so successful. That is so mm -hmm. awesome. Well, what about when it comes to dating, you're in a relationship, um, how do you keep up the heat and keep the spark there? How do you keep up the heat? I love that. I actually had a couple more um, date ideas that if you're in a relationship, they kind of work to heat things up. Um, one thing that's big is customized picnics. And San Francisco has some great companies, um, our picnics and company and picnics. And what they do is they take, you know, everybody's been on a romantic picnic, but they take it to another level. So um, say you and the person you're dating are, you really love sushi, right? Usually don't have sushi on a picnic, but plan a hike and then you're gonna end it with a really, delicious sushi picnic, and you will have a more exciting and more memorable date than just a typical picnic. Um, another one that I have to throw in here, if a picnic doesn't sound exciting enough for you, um, there's a lot of unique adventurous dates you can go on in the area. Um, Sonoma Zipline Adventures is great 
if you're looking for a little tree top fun and um, you and your person like a little adrenaline on the date, that's a great thing. Um, another great idea is to do like a kayaking tour together because again, you're going to see that person in a different element than you're used to seeing them, say if you just went to dinner. Yeah, no, you could definitely learn a lot about someone when they're in a new situation like that. Yeah, trying out in a kayak. <laughs> so when it comes to a date, should it always be the guy who pays or the girl who pays? Or is it the person who asks who pays? Uh, that's always awkward when it comes to that point. That's a great question. And, you know, I think it's unique to the situation um, because, again, people can end up on a date in different ways. Sometimes it's very traditional. Um, one person asked the other. Um, and so that might be the expectation in that case. But sometimes you might end out out and about and then it moves on to something and you want to go Dutch. It's really up to you and the person that you're dating um, and what feels comfortable, too, for both of you. All right, some really good tips there. I know I appreciated it, and I'm sure our viewers did too. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us all that good info. Thank you for having me. Well, if you want to get out there and find that special someone, visit it's justlunchsanfrancisco.com. Well, that's all for this episode of Bay Area Focus. Be sure to like us on Facebook and check out our website, kpix.com slash Bay Area Focus. Thanks so much for watching.